going to be different? Well, the interesting thing is the 15 judges found it in secret to be legal with only the government's argument being presented. Many people who follow jurisprudence and legal history will tell you that the truth is achieved by having a lawyer on both sides in an open court. So we're going to try to have a decision on whether the Fourth Amendment applies to our phone records in an open court, the Supreme Court, but I will have an attorney there. I'll have the former Attorney General of Virginia defending me, and in most of the decisions they're referring to, there was no defense and there was no attorney. All right. Obviously, you're talking about uh, Ken Cuccinelli uh, as a former attorney general of, of Virginia. Let me ask you this, uh, Senator. I'm looking at the lawsuit now. And look, I was a little hesitant to bring this up, but, but, but I feel like I have to. Um, the, the District of Columbia, right off the top, is, is spelled wrong. There's no L in there. And I know that seems like maybe you guys just wanted to get it out there. It's a spelling typo, but still, it is right at the top. And, and I read it further, and this caught my attention uh, when you're talking about your standing personally to bring this case. It says, defendant, uh, defendants have, without legitimate basis, collected, stored, retained, and periodically searched telephone metadata concerning every domestic or international phone call he made or received since at least May 2006, and defendants continue to do so. So, so let me ask you about that, because this is crucial. You have to be able to prove that to bring this case. The NSA collects 20% or less of all American phone calls. So do you have the proof that all of your calls, 100% of yours, are in that piece of the pie? You know, the question of standing is sort of a complicated legal question, and the attorneys will have to sort that out. And there have been reports, there was a recent report in the Wall Street Journal saying that, but there have also been some reports saying that all of Verizon's calls were collected and all of AT&T's calls were correct, collected. The actual decision on legal standing, I'm just not uh, someone who will be able to make that determination. But there already have been several cases that have gotten into the court mm -hmm. and have been received for standing. So I don't, our lawyers don't believe that standing will be a difficult argument. All right. So, so let me ask you this. I'm CNN senior legal analyst Jeffrey Tube, and you know him obviously as well. Um, he talked about that issue and also the issue of the class itself that you're claiming. And, and here's how he phrased the, his issue. Senator Paul does not have a legal standing, which the courts require. And no court will accept a class action with millions of plaintiffs. So I know you're saying, uh, you know, you dispute the issue on standing. But what about the issue of, of class? I mean, I'm just looking out there. I did some quick work today, right? Walmart, the biggest employee discrimination uh, case in American history, one and a half million plaintiffs. Obviously, the Visa MasterCard case could have been even bigger. But you say you're looking at, according to this, uh, this, this on page eight, 300 million people. Well, see, here's the whole point uh, and what we're trying to bring to the American people is that this warrant is so generalized, a single warrant is being applied to everybody that has a cell phone and really everybody that has a landline, too. Everybody has a phone connection. They're saying a single warrant can apply to everyone. That sounds to us like a general warrant. The Fourth Amendment says that the warrant should be specific to the individual. But you're telling me a single warrant can apply to everybody who has an AT&T phone call. That sounds like it does go against what our founding fathers intended in the Fourth Amendment. And I think we will be heard. And I think that we have a very strong argument. Things are complicated as with regard to how big a class is, but we didn't define the class. This is defined by the arrogance of government that has decided that the Fourth Amendment uh, really allows a warrant to be written for everybody's it, phone records. It shows the enormity and the egregiousness of really the government's intrusion. 